Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Eugenia Kim. I am a teaching fellow for Computer Science E1. You are watching a video of the week. Almost all of the videos of the week have been about digital computers, operating systems, browsers, antivirus software, and whatnot. But what about the very first computer? Have you ever wondered what it was like and who made it? Well, wonder no more, because today we are going to tell you about some of the first computing devices in history. If we want to be very technical, computer science is a technical field, the scales and abacus would be considered computing devices. However, I imagine that most people would think about something more like the Anikythera mechanism, hailing from ancient Greece. Completely mechanical, researchers believe it was designed for astronomy to help devise calendars and aid in planting and harvesting. There is no exact made date, but it may possibly have been from 65 BC. Although it was likely not the only machine of its kind, it's still pretty unique. After that, it was a long time before another analog computer of that magnitude was developed. In 1623, Willem Schickard, a German fellow, developed another calculator for astronomy. However, his calculator was not yet programmable. Other devices that came along were the Pascaline, from that math guy, Blaise Pascal, and the Thomas Arithmometer, a mass-produced arithmetic calculating machine. Even better yet was Gottfried Leibniz, another German whose development of binary um, is leads to our current binary system. Although, we jump ahead of ourselves. And just as a shout out to all the nerds and geeks out there, yes, the slide rule counts as an analog computing device and was actually used by engineers on the Apollo program that sent a man to the moon. The really exciting stuff, however, didn't come until the 1800s when punch card systems were invented. Inspired by Frenchman Basile Bouchon's 1725 invention of a loom with a loop of cloth, and moving forward to Joseph Marie Jacquard's loom with loops of cards, 1833 brought about the analytical machine as envisioned by Charles Babbage. It used flat cards with holes punched in a pattern as instructions and ran off a steam engine. And you thought your CPU overheated? Believe it or not, the US Census Bureau used a machine like this, made by Herman Hollerith, whose company eventually became IBM, by the way, in the 1890s. And punch card computers in general were used through the 1970s, and to a degree, still are used today. Beyond that, the last of the analog computers could be considered Vannevar Bush's differential analyzer, a large desk-like machine that integrated differential equations. Overall, though, it is probably punch card computers that are the most interesting, given their ability to do a wider variety of tasks. Thankfully, though, computer science students do not need to submit their assignments as a stack of cards anymore. Well, that's all for today. This has been a video of the week.